Right, what's going on guys? It's Rhythm from Drifting Rhythm, and today you might notice there's a little bit of a difference. And uh, what I'm going to be doing, we'll try to be doing going forward is like this kind of setup. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. But uh, we've played this game before. The thing that I want to do with this one is that this had, I guess, kind of like a, a redo of graphics from what I heard. It's just, it's gotten a little better, a little nicer. So I'm curious to see how much of that is true and how much of it adds to the game itself so without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, i'm gonna try a few different things here so this is like not gonna be like probably the best implementation of this at first but we'll see i'm get more used to it as we go on uh you're gonna see me looking down occasionally because my keyboard is below me i don't remember a ton of the controls i don't know if they changed anything going into this so that's for you and i both to find out so let's get into this Oh, he looks so nice. I actually kind of like how the light hits, so it looks like it adds to the atmosphere, doesn't it? I'm going to start it off from the beginning. We'll just see what they've changed now. I don't know how much the graphics are really going to affect everything, but as you can see, I have my heart monitor. I have the new, you know, angle. And hopefully the audio sounds pretty good, you too, because to a little bit. The most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy. And she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl. And she talks like one, too. Hi! My name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a Poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Since the audio is being weird, uh, I'm just going to point it out. This is mad desynced. It's very clearly desynced audio. And I don't think that's on purpose, because if it is, it really doesn't add much to this. I think this was supposed to be when that, like, the dramatic part was playing. Because I'm like, isn't there supposed to be a guy here talking to us about it? Uh, yeah, mega delays. So that's, uh, that's always good to see. That stuff. Ooh, I like how dark it is in here. All right, let's see if we can figure out our controls. Maybe it'll tell us as we do stuff. Wow, it is really dark. It says escape to pause. All right, I'm gonna have to move that. We'll do that. I feel like you're probably gonna be looking up a lot, like me. All right, can we run? We can run, that's crouch. It is really dark in here. Can I interact with anything? What is that? E to interact. Okay. It's like mega dark in this place. Oh, look at that. Creepy eyes. Poppy wants to play. Listen to me clip clop around. E, open doors. What you really want to hear is your own footsteps. Never a second hair. Usually not a good sign. At least in these games. So we've got green, pink, yellow, and red. Oh, I forgot physics. That's a thing. Candy cat. Like candy corn. All the huggies. All the huggy stuffy bears are gone. Green, pink, yellow, red, right? Do I click? Uh, pink, yellow, red. Yay, we did it. I found a VCR. Wait. I mean, a VHS. Watch this educational 
video. Hopefully it's not desynced. <laughs> Cannons. Okay. Doable. May cause injury. Just I couldn't be more on top of that. And we uh It won't let me. Oh come on. Oh, it's an invisible wall. What? That's not fair. Is it just me or is it weird that only those are the ones with the weird like lightning bolts on them? That train is still going. No good, no good. Let's see what this is. Probably we're supposed to see this one first. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If Take your word for it, this, I can't see you. Then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Also, I just realized, how would they play a VCR constantly? If you guys don't know what a VCR is, if you're really young, and, uh, you know, I can help you because I'm really old. Basically, a VCR is one of these boxes, and it rewinds a VHS tape, but you can also play it. So... It's not like a DVD or a CD where you can just be like, play from here, play from here. You don't have to rewind those. Well, these you do. So I'm like, how do you, how do you play a VHS tape on loop? Because you can't. It's inherently not possible. Because it's literally a physical media. It's, it's a piece of tape that just loops around. And once it gets to the end, guess what? You got to rewind it to go back to the start. So I'm just like, I feel like what he's saying doesn't make sense. Can I jump? I can. Ooh, it is really dark in here. High, high five? Oh, that's loud. I am all kinds of missing. Do you see that? <laughs> what does he say? Why? Oh, he looks like he's having a ton of fun in there. Look at him. Okay. Yeah, I would love power because it is really dark in here. Huh. Okay. He's quick, but I'm quicker. Guess we'll find out how true that is. It is mad dark in here. It's really hard to be scared when you literally can't see anything. Oh, it's locked. Those don't work, do they? There's a lot of uh, not niceness over here. Grab to divert power. All right, let's see. This side, right? Oh my goodness. Got really loud. 
Oh, look who's not there anymore. Someone pulled out the, uh... Didn't I just plug this back in? Now what, do I just leave? I guess so, huh? I feel like when I run, I kind of frolic. I don't think that's how that's supposed to open. I'm just saying. Here's testing. We're not going in there. Cafeteria? I could use some food. I'm hungry. All right. Well, I guess not. Starve. Like, you can't enter anywhere. Oh, I can finally go in there. Are these little guys still in here? Yeah, look at him. Having a laugh. You must think it's real funny. Hardy har har. You mean he ran in there somehow and came back out and was just like... All right, let's just uh, ignore the fact that my hand's going to drag. Hey, look, there's a hand. Wait, man, let me shock you real quick. It says stairway to AT double hockey sticks. And won't even let me go down there. What kind of place is this? Ooh. Oh, that loading. Loading spike was insane. All right, so there's more stuff we can do here, I imagine. The sound is great. All right, there's yellow. So that means there must be one around here, right? I can jump, which is nice. Usually in these games, you can't really do that. Look at these nice giant stickers. I want some cool stickers. Oh, I bet you there's a way through here. It looks pretty good here. It is really dark in here. Can I open this? Yeah, because let me tell you, it's going to be a lot easier going back and forth with this open. Uh, well, there's one right there. Hang on, can I grab it from over here? Hold on. Yo. See how long my hand really reaches. Ha <laughs> ha! Cheated the system. Hi. You know what would be freaky if that dude's head was turning around on a swivel, just watching me? That's what I need right now. All right, let's see here. We still need that yellow tape. We don't need it, but I want it. So in my case, I do need it. I'm going to find this tape. Okay, I feel like it has to be on one of these shelves. Oh, there it is. I was right. Let's check the hallways. You never know. Long, tan, and handsome could be coming. Rich. Where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance last did a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. <sighs> it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it. Because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. <sighs> You're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... Is that even a word? Habitable? Was that it? Okay. We've got all four of the little power... things we need. Bro, I even looked at him too, and he didn't, man. All right, let's go. I wait for the danger zone. I ran all that way for nothing. All right, let's do this. It is mega dark, dude. Oh, complete the circuit. I can do that. We'll do that one first. Yay, free ride. Can't see anything.
Man, that lag. If that's what it's gonna look like in the later scene, that's gonna be a problem, because that's gonna be really dark. It's gonna be hard to see through anything. I'm not gonna lie, this does look considerably better. At least in my opinion. The performance is pretty good too. The random choppiness and all that. That'd be fun to go down, wouldn't it? Guessing we can't go over there. Oh, that just fades into existence. Look at that. Hmm. Just praising the graphics and then it does that. The running is still a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. You hear the flippy cloppity going on there. Uh, we need the pink one. I think I remember where this one is. It's to the right of us, I believe. Like there, yeah. Go ahead and pop that one in. Watch this. Yeah, there. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something, right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. A little? What in the heck is wrong with my arm? Oh, I'm still pulling it. Uh, it won't let go. Okay, there we go. Make a friend. It's like Build-A-Bear. And that reach. There we go. Oh, I do. Oh, I do have to connect these. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I could have just done that with one hand. Ooh. Oh, E. Oh my good golly god, that is loud. Let's see if we get to take them with us this time. This guy's eyes follow us around. Nobody leaves without a toy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at our toy. It's getting made. It's like a a, a bee cat. Cat bug. Now that I could definitely, I could definitely do without. That is. I have to walk forward. Can I sprint crouch? Kind of. I'm fast enough. My toy! Come here. I got you. Toy. 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 Oh, they went right through me. Toy. 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 Oh, I have to... Look at that. So now we can leave, right? Delightful. Uh, 
I got to make sure. I don't know how loud this is going to be, but I'm guessing it's going to be pretty loud. And I don't know how well I'm be able to see. So. Ooh. That every time, man. I should mention, he's pretty fast. Get way out ahead of them too, before you really have to worry about anything. But he is much faster than he seems. Cause you gotta go through here and hit this. It just opens after a while. Lebot says turn back. He's so mean. How high up are we exactly? I feel like that shouldn't have happened like that. I do know there is another... There it is. The clop. Final log. In relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, these events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Aw, oh, it ends there. End transmission. Honestly, like, this does look much better. The random lag spikes. It's not my computer. It just seems to be like a loading thing. Like, that kind of does spoil it a little bit for me. But that running sequence is good. It really is. I enjoy it. You're not going to open that for me. Can I knock it over? I'm glad, too, that it is a hold, not a not a tap. Because if it was, that would have messed me up so bad. That's one of the things that I do not like in uh, certain games is when you can't change that. But this one I enjoyed. It was pretty good. I can't tell if her eyes are open or closed. Can I hide under this? Probably going to need to after I open this. You opened my case. You darn right I did. Gotta save you. Like Snow White, right? Well, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think about the new look, I guess. Yeah, I've been Rhythm for Drifting Rhythm, and this has been Chapter 1. Kind of like, it's the it's not a remake, but it's like a redux of like visual fidelity, which is nice. It does look good. That running scene, that chase scene, still as good as the first time. 
as you will see, my uh, heart rate shot straight to the roof the first time. Because uh, I forgot some of the stuff and like, all right, you gotta look around, duck, run all the time. So that's fun. I also didn't realize that we have a flashlight. I guess it was just automatic, but you know, flashlight to flashlight. So I'm glad we got to get that one out of the way. Catch you guys in the next episode of whatever. I don't know if it's going to be another scary game or something, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, we'll catch you then. Take care, everybody.